this is a uh, simple little waveform it's showing a net negative but the point of this video is just to show that for example we have the positive spike and then it comes little negative little ringing then it goes negative and this is the real spike negative spike right here it goes a little bit positive and then it goes over to the next one positive coming down negative coming over positive going like that then negative and all I simply want to show in a short little video is that you can spread the time out from the uh, to delay the negative so that the negative is closer to the next positive okay here's another uh, example here you can see that the spike goes positive and then immediately goes negative comes over we got the delay off time and then it goes positive negative over delay positive negative delay positive negative delay positive negative delay okay and it is a net negative but uh, what I want to show right here is that basically I just spaced it out so that we have the positive and then we have a big delay and then it's negative then it immediately goes positive see that right there okay and here's one final example basically just showing that you have the positive spike and then you delay it then it goes negative and as soon as it goes negative it's going to rebound towards positive but then there's the positive spike so how do you delay it that much and when you got this negative spike then it re it's going to rebound towards the positive but if that matches the timing of when the on pulse is does it take less power to make that positive spike if it's a direct rebound from the negative compared to having that uh, negative spike come down straight off the positive then a big delay and then the next positive you know versus this right here where you can get the positive delay and then you got the negative and as soon as the negative rebounds to positive it's matched with the timing to make the positive the next pulse go positive